हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज रुपेश एंड यू आर वाचिंग सी वी मिनट्स वीडियो सीरीज ऑन बाइनरी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन आई मीन बाइनरी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट एल सी ए ऑफ अ बाइनरी ट्री लीस्ट कॉमन एनसेस्टर इन अ बाइनरी ट्री लाइक आई गिव यू टू नोट्स लाइक मे बी सेवन एंड एट एंड आई आस्क यू वट इज द लीस्ट कॉमन एनसेस्टर ऑफ सेवन एंड एट देन योर आंसर वुड बी टू and let's suppose uh least common ancestor for 5 and 3 would be 1 okay so it's like i'll give you two nodes and ask you which node is the common ancestor of these two nodes let's suppose this one and this one then one is the common ancestor for 3 and 2 and if i give you these two nodes the common ancestor is 6 okay if i give you 4 and 5 then common ancestor is 2 so you have to go upwards to actually see which one is the common ancestor for your node let's suppose if i give you 7 and 10 then you will go upwards when you will meet the first time then only you'll say this is the least common ancestor because it is possible let's suppose if i give you 4 uh, this one and this one 4 and 5 and 2 is the least common ancestor but 1 is also the ancestor of Four and five, but the question is least common ancestor. Okay, so the least one. And one more thing, let's suppose if I ask you what is the least common ancestor between five and eight, then the answer is five. And same goes for maybe two and five. So the ancestor is two. So how to solve this problem? So let's take an example. We want to find the common ancestor between five, sorry, seven and eight. So seven and eight. so we know how to uh, recursively traverse binary tree and with the help of that you will traverse from here to here here and here okay you will come and reach to this place find that okay 7 is found once you found 7 when you are returning back from here to here you return this 7 to 4 okay so this is how it is going to be let's suppose you would have come from here to here here and here and this is not either 7 or 8 then in that case you will return null pointer or null but if you happen to find either of the given node then you will return that node and it will be very easy for you to find whether you really hit that node or not so 7 will be returned from here there is nothing for 4 in the right hand side so you will go back from here to here in that case you will return 7 from here to here also because you see that okay i have found 7 okay so in this hierarchy in this path i have found 7 and that 7 you was actually trying to propagate to the parent so that one time you will hit the parent which will have both 7 and 8 and then you will know that okay i have found that parent which is common between 7 and 8 so you return 7 from here to here and then there was nothing to go for the right hand side then you returned 7 from here to here then left is done for this to right then you will go to the right hand side here also you will verify is this 5 among 7 or 8 no then you will go here is this the node i am looking for yes then you will return 8 from here the moment you return 8 from here it will try to go to right hand side of 5 but there is nothing in the right hand side so this guy will also return 8 from here okay because this is how it is going to be if you happen to find either of the node you will keep returning that node and the idea is at one time you will reach to the node which will have both left and right returned values as what you was looking for so see i told you right 7 and 8 common ancestor would be 2 and see it is very easy to understand 2 is going to get 7 and 8 from both of its direction and then it will be easy for you to take the decision that if whatever i am getting from the left is also not equal to null pointer and whatever i am going to get from the right also is not equal to null pointer then in that case this node is the least common ancestor this is the node i am looking for now this is the trick once you get this condition true like left hand sides data is also not 
null right hand size data is also not null and that will be for this particular node only okay so for this node once you are done visiting left and right whole subtrees you will find that i have received 7 and 8 from both the directions in that case i know i am the only one what they are looking for okay so this is the catch now from here if this is the case then you will return 2 from here okay so 2 will go to ones left now as you have done visiting the whole left tree of one then you will go from here to here and then here and then here you will not find that 7 and 8 here then you will go here nothing will be there you will return null pointer from here null pointer from here so 6 will receive null pointer from both the ends it won't do anything it will return null pointer here only okay so 3 is also getting kind of null pointer from both the end this is also not going to do anything it will just return null pointer so it is going to receive null pointer from right hand side and 2 from left hand side so it knows that I have to return 2 from here because that is the node I am looking for you will return 2 from here and that's what we were looking for I'll quickly show you the code it is very easy so this is the LCA function for you you have this root which is 1 and n1 and n2 7 and 8 okay so this is your basic condition if root is i mean the node is null pointer you'll just simply return null pointer otherwise for each and every node you will check if roots data is either equal to n1 or equal to n2 so the moment you come here this is not satisfying this condition right because root data is 1 and we are looking for either 7 or 8 then we'll go here and then left found node is equal to lca now we are calling ourselves with roots left and n1 and n2 so n1 and n2 will always go in the call and the first call is lca with roots left so we know that we will go here and the same thing will happen here we will go here same thing will happen here and then we will go here the moment we are reaching at this location this roots data is actually 7 and n1 is also 7 then we will actually return root from here root meaning you are returning roots data meaning actually the 7 as I told you you will return 7 from here correct so you are returning 7 back to this place so 7 will actually come to this location left found node will become 7 and then see we have the condition okay before going here actually you have to call to lca roots right but roots right which is this one's roots right is actually null pointer so the moment you call this you will come back because of this line okay and now you will check left found node was actually 7 at this location right so 7 is not equal to null pointer actually it is true but right found is actually equal to null pointer so this condition is not true meaning you are not standing at this location this condition can only be true for this node okay for this particular node meaning this is not true you will not go inside this and not return true I mean root meaning you are not going to return 4 from here you will still return 7 see how you will do that you will find roots found node is true then return that only otherwise return right find node okay so this statement is actually compressed it says that you return either of these two left found node or right found node and if they both are null pointer they don't care I mean you just return null pointer so if left found node is actually having value then you return that see this is ternary operator so if this is having value then you return the same thing if it is not then you don't have any option you just have to return this and if it is actually true meaning if it is null not null pointer then we will receive the actual node found node otherwise we will receive null pointer okay so in this case currently we have 7 here so we will return 7 so we are returning 7 from here to here so as you are returning 7 from here you will again reach with 7 but in the call stack of 2 okay so you as returning 7 from here then you reached with 7 here and this left found node is 
filled with 7 but this time right found node will be filled with something else see how it is going to work see you will call LCA at this location with right now because you are done visiting left okay that's how you received 7 now you will go to the right hand side and see everything will happen right is not null so this is not going to get true okay and 5 is not 7 or 8 so this is also not going to get true you will hit this line again at 5 so 5's left is 8 now you will send 8 the moment you are going from here to here this condition is going to get true roots data is equal to equal to n1 no roots data is equal to equal to n2 yes it is because 8 is equal to 8 now you will return 8 from here see you are returning root you will return 8 from here and this guy would return 8 from here so we will have 8 here and 7 here so left found node is actually pointing at 7 and right found node is pointing at 8 and where at this location okay in this call stack once you are done with the left and right of this two or second node and see left found node is not equal to null pointer yes it is true because left is actually pointing at seven and right found node is also not equal to null pointer because it is pointing to eight in that case you will return root and currently root is two because this is your root okay so you will return two from here and actually you are done visiting the whole left tree now you will go to the right tree and actually you will not have anything in the right tree you will go here 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 and this is also not either seven or eight and it doesn't make any sense because then it will be a problem i mean you cannot have duplicate okay because then it will be an issue like which node you are talking about so this is a non-duplicate case so see you'll hit here you'll return null pointer because of this line null here null 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 so at this location you would have received two here and null here for right because the moment you came inside with one and this was not true and this was obviously not true and you started going for this line and you ended up having all the recursion and then due to this line only you completed your whole left tree and then you went to the right subtree and yeah before that actually you you got two because of this left call and you stored that into the left found node and then after that you went for the right one but you always received null 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 and then you received null in the final case now you have null here and see now you're going to compare if left node is not equal to null pointer but it is actually true and this is false so this is not going to happen you are not going to return root here you will receive two so you will return true i mean two because 2 is a true case so you will return this data which is actually 2 so we are returning 2 which is the least common ancestor this is very important question guys because this is asked in so many companies and it is very interesting if you know these kind of solutions or at least you have gone through these videos of mine it will help you to think about any new problem because you have already seen these kind of solutions so thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care.